Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I've got a few different models of Esnix in front of me that we're going to take a quick look at. These are designed by Evan Nicolaitis. He's been making custom slip joints for a while and recently he started working with Riot to have these knives made. So let's take a look. So these first two are called the Beer Buster Junior Front Flipper. It's got a micarta handle and an M390 blade and a little titanium beer bottle shield. On the back there's a Mokutai clip which is a layered titanium laminate and it gives that really cool purple swirl in the clip there. This is the front flipper version and no thumb studs, no flipper tabs. Just a little finger pull and it pops right out there. There's your M390 blade with a satin finish. I like the swedge work on this blade. I think it adds to the knife's character a little bit. Sodbuster patterns aren't what most people think of when you hear cool knife, but Essex has put a lot of cool attractive features into this little pocket knife. The liner lock is solidly built and on the back here you can see why it's called the Beer Buster. You get a titanium bottle opener for popping a top on those hot summer days. Or cold days, doesn't really matter. There are several different styles of each one of these knives. I don't have them all out on the table right here in front of me. This next Beer Buster Jr. is also a front flipper, but it's got a PVD coating on the metal parts and the beer bottle shield is red and made of G10 now instead of titanium. You can get versions with or without the Makutai clip if it's not your thing as well. Personally, I think it's kind of a nice addition and I'm not usually for bling on my knives, but I think it accents the piece pretty well. Okay, up next we've got the Barracuda. This is a real thin, lightweight slip joint with G10 scales and titanium bolsters. All these blades are going to be M390 with the exception of the Damascus steel versions. I'll show you one of those at the end. The Barracuda probably falls into the gentleman's or CEO knife category. I'm not sure if that's a real thing or not, but if you need a knife and you wear a suit or work in a corporate environment, these kinds of knives might be more fitting than a big Penguin Plus in your pocket. That said, these still have a decent blade stock to them and they feel very well built. No blade play, a solid half stop, and centering are all on point. Just like the Beer Buster flippers, you can get these with satin finishes or with a PVD coating. M390 is not really prone to rusting, so I'm not sure the PVD is really necessary to protect your knife. But if you like the blacked out style, then Esnix has you covered. You can get an idea of the blade width here. Even though it's a thin knife overall, it's still pretty robust. I'm not sure this would be my go-to for cutting up cardboard, but if you really wanted to, it would handle the job well enough. It's definitely built with slicing in mind, and you've got a lot of blade edge to work with too. These last two are slip joints as well. They're also Beer Buster Juniors. So if you like the Beer Buster Junior pattern, you get to choose from a front flipper, or a good old fashioned slip joint. This one has a smooth titanium handle and the beer bottle is engraved into the titanium versus being set in on the other models. It's a pretty firm action. It definitely helps to have a good fingernail but it's not too tight either. There's a strong half stop and it's got a nice snap when it opens. This all titanium version has a very nice clean look to it. If I had to pick a favorite from all the stuff on the table then I'm probably going to go with this one. I said earlier that all of these knives are M390 blades with the exception of the Damascus steel version. Damascus steel is a brand of Damascus. It's made in Sweden and generally regarded as a top of the line maker of this kind of steel. This one has a black micarta handle and it's very well done just like the others. There aren't any gaps between the bolster and the handles. Everything's nice and flush like it should be on a premium knife. 
The pattern on the Damascus is pretty cool. They're all a bit different, with each one having a bit of variation in how they turn out. It's still a strong steel that's corrosion resistant and will cut just as great as the M390. Plus you can open beer bottles with it and use that as an excuse to show everyone around you your cool knife. Well that's our introduction to Esnix for today. These are really great little knives and you can see more of them on our site. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.